introduction. If this is on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, check out patreon.com slash Ryan Leone. Let's get I'm Ryan Leone. I'm an author. Ryan Leone on Dopey Show, they'll know. So like when you're talking about 20 years into the addiction and you get a handle on it, the barber gives you a gram of, what do you think? I hope 2020 is the year that I can finally put all my demons behind me and, uh, you know make the, the comeback that I know I have in me. I don't even know what to say right now. This is so fucked up. So as you guys can tell from the intro and the title and the, the buzz going around in the comment section, um, Ryan Leone passed away. Ryan was 37-ish, right? He was young. He had a beautiful wife and two very handsome, very precious young sons that were, uh, they should be on a Gerber package, honestly. They're just beautiful. Um, Ryan was also an only child, so his parents just lost their only son. So as we go into this video, I would like to ask you if you didn't like Ryan or you don't like me to just leave this video and thanks and cool. This is a tragedy and this is horrible, and no one should have to bury their child. A wife shouldn't have to bury her husband. Sons should not have to bury their father. I can't even imagine the pain that they are feeling right now. It doesn't even feel real for me, and I was just his friend, you know? So I would like to spend this video just kind of talking about Ryan, uh, my experience with him, and some of his stories, and I'm going to fill this video with a fuck ton of ads so that we can raise as much money to give to his family as possible so that's why it has so many ads on it i'm trying to raise as much money as i can for them so bear with me so a lot of you might remember this video that i posted with ryan it is an incredible interview that we got to film last year it is just entertaining and shocking and crazy from start to finish and that is exactly how ryan's life really was crazy and shocking and a lot from start to finish um that interview is honestly one of my personal favorites. It was just so good and filming with Ryan, he just had this great energy. So if you don't know a lot about YouTube, if you see a 45 minute video, chances are they were filming for over two hours. Uh, so Ryan and I filmed for over two hours and I had filmed all day that day as well. So by the time Ryan showed up to film with me, I was tired and I felt so bad because I wasn't I didn't have enough energy to to film that video and I almost canceled or postponed to the next day because I was just like, oh my god, I'm so freaking tired. But obviously I did not postpone that day uh, and Ryan showed up to film. As soon as he showed up to film with me, at the time I thought it was just, oh, yeah, okay, you're ready to do your job. Hook up the cameras. But now looking back, like, I was so tired, but Ryan had such incredible energy that, like, I don't know, it just, like, recharged my battery I guess you know and I was like hey what's up it's nice to finally meet you and we're talking and within two minutes I was like we're gonna be friends I can already tell and that's what's hard like when you're going to meet people to interview them like you never really know what you're gonna get even if it's a content creator I hate to burst your bubble but a lot of content creators have like a YouTube personality and I've learned that along the way Ryan did not that's very much who he is he talked exactly how he is you know and I relate a lot to that so immediately I was like oh yeah he's cool thank god because if I had to like pull out his story or if I had to be like okay no let's whatever if I had to bring any of that energy to someone that is like yeah so I went to prison that's hard right and you never know what you're gonna get but a lot of times that comes from people that are not used to talking on camera but ryan was very used to talking on camera obviously and it was a great interview this is really random but you know during the whole filming process that day um 
he mentioned that he used to sell Amber Heard drugs. And I was like, boy, you better tell me all of that. And off camera, he told me a lot about about that situation and he told me what was to come with you know the the trial that the whole world was watching and I just thought wow I love Johnny Depp <laughs> crazy I don't know why I brought that up but if you want to know why I made the video about wanting Amber to experience every minor inconvenience ever that's why I have insider information <laughs> from that day on Ryan and I were friends he he sent me his book which I will link down below um, he signed it for me and I totally miss this the first time I read the book. It's obviously, it's obviously well loved here. Um, this is the beginning part of the book. To my mother and father for convincing me that everyone loves a comeback story. And that's, Ryan was like the king of the comeback story, you know? Prison and car accidents and crazy, like homelessness and addiction and running from the law and like all these crazy experiences. You would think like, oh dude, he, he's done he's done and then he would come back I know it's really easy to judge someone that struggles with the disease of addiction and to judge their lifestyle and everything that they did especially when content creators like Ryan get on the internet and share all of their story all of their darkest deepest secrets and their stories and their experiences and their addiction that is not easy to do let me tell ya so when a content creator does that it's really easy to judge them for it but Ryan was unapologetically true to who he was he's gonna tell you like it is he's gonna tell a story like it is and what it was so wild about him is that he has tons of footage from active addiction to just all kinds of stuff he was working on so many projects one of which I was going to work with him on and I was really excited to do that uh, but he was working on a documentary and all this stuff and I know felon degenerate addiction right I know that was Ryan right well that's me too so if you judge him you have to judge me too uh, but Ryan and I were about to work on something and this year has been really hard for me and Ryan and a couple other close friends of mine have known about some things going on in my life. There have been a few times this year where I've had to tell Ryan like, oh, I wanna do that, I, I would love to work on that project with you, I just can't right now, like my mental health is not good or whatever the, the case was. And despite the fact that he was struggling with so many things, the last thing he said to me a couple of weeks ago was, here if you need me. And as like insignificant as that might sound, I don't think it's insignificant. I like, he always was like, what do you need? How can I help? If I told Ryan, yo, I love that shirt, he would take it off and give it to me. That's what makes me crazy. Like, <laughs> so he was supposed to send me something uh, a couple of weeks ago. A package so that we like a PR package so that we could start working on stuff and when it didn't show up I should have known something was wrong I should have known something was up and I should have reached out but life gets so freaking busy and I hate that I couldn't have done more I hate that I couldn't have helped more this just sucks Ryan was really passionate about a Narcan project that he started in his friend's honor his friend Paul passed away from an overdose so he created the Paul project uh, Paul, Paul Narcan project I will link that down below as well um, it meant a lot to him to be able to get Narcan to people that can't have it or can't afford it because it's like fucking ridiculous amount of money so I'm gonna link that down below I'm gonna link Ryan's channel down below his book down below Dobe podcast as well because that is where Ryan shared crazy stories and if you think the interview that I filmed with Ryan is crazy then you're in for a real treat when you hear um, his interviews on Dobe podcast oh I was gonna show you guys this too I just mentioned to Ryan that I was a fan of Sinister <laughs> And he just, he probably took this off his freaking wall and sent it to me. Like, that's just the kind of person that Ryan is. And I hate that I don't have this in a frame yet, but I, like, literally suck at life. But I was like, oh, I really like Sinister. He just mailed it to me. Like, why? And I'm saying that to say, like, if you judge content creators like Ryan that are hella freaking honest and sharing their life story, then fuck you, dude. Like, it's not easy to get on this platform and share mistakes and crimes and addiction and all of your past failures or mistakes or regrettable incidences like my therapist calls them i don't know why i just said that <laughs> i just don't even feel in this moment like this is real though like i feel like he's going to facetime me and be like ah gotcha you thought it was a hoax you thought i was really dead i'm not dead i'm back like as dumb as it sounds to think that he is somehow not gone that's what i'm thinking right now I don't, I don't know i have a lot of experience with the disease of addiction 
so does Dave from Dovey Podcast. And we both yesterday were like, this isn't real. This isn't real. There's no way. Like, I thought he was going to be okay. I thought, like, he was a fucking rock star. He was going to be okay. How can we both think that when we have this much experience with addiction and loss? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I really genuinely don't know if I'm, like, in shock or something, but I just don't think it's real. Like, I just think he's going to FaceTime me and laugh, and I think I'm going to see a, a Patreon video pop up or a video pop up. All right, guys. You know, like, I just think that that's still gonna happen. I don't know. Maybe I'm freaking insane, but it doesn't feel real and I'm devastated for his family and I know that the Ride or Die crew will come together in any way that we can. That's why I love you guys so much. I did ask Karina uh, if he has life insurance and I'm not sure yet, but if there is a fund for his funeral, his funeral, fuck, um, I will, uh, I will link that in the description box as well. I don't really know what else to say. I'm just like sitting here it just doesn't feel real. As a lot of you guys know, I am a partner with a treatment center. Uh, They're called Groups Recover, and they are opening in all kinds of states. Um, it's updated all the time, and they're working nonstop to open more facilities across the country. So um, they are in person and online and they believe in harm reduction and they're just a great team of people. So if you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, I leave my landing page and hotline number in the description box of every single video. That's all I got. Rest in peace, Ryan. Love you guys.